Hello everyone, this is Yeshua said my name. Jesus told us in the last days, through Paul, he's speaking through Paul, that in the last days men would no longer adhere to sound doctrine, but would heed doctrines taught by devils. These doctrines that are coming to us through Lucifer and his angelic forces are prevalent today. Their message is what we're going to study in this video. And after I play you a couple of videos from Ronald Reagan, uh, and go through some sources for you of what these fallen angels are preaching. It'll become very clear that we are living in those times that Jesus talked about right before his return. These doctrines taught by devils are uniting humanity as one, a new age of brotherhood, an age of Aquarius, an enlightenment and ascension of man to deity, and a unification of man like never before which is what was prophesied right before the return of Christ. So I'm gonna play these for you, these three videos first. And then I'm gonna go over for you the criteria of what to look for of doctrines taught by devils or Lucifer and his fallen angels. I couldn't help at one point in my discussions with privately with General Secretary Gorbachev. When you stop to think, we're all of God's children, wherever we may live in the world. I couldn't help but say to him, just think how easy his task and mine might be in these meetings that we held. If suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet outside in the universe, we'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries, and we would find out once and for all that we really are all human beings here on this earth together. Well, I don't suppose we can wait for some alien race to come down and threaten us, but I think that between us, we can bring about that realization. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? I think maybe I'd answer it this way. I, I keep in my frustration sometimes, you know, actually, if you count some of the things going on in smaller countries and all, there have been about 114 wars since World War II. But I've often wondered, what if all of us in the world discovered that we were threatened by an outer a power from outer space, from another planet? Wouldn't we all of a sudden find that we didn't have any differences between us at all? We were all human beings, citizens of the world, and wouldn't we come together to fight that particular threat? Now, I want to stop there for a second. Those three speeches, I hope they came through, were all from President Ronald Reagan. There have been other presidents George Bush Sr., George Bush Jr., that you can look up on YouTube that discuss the New World Order, a new age, an ancient promise given to man. This ancient promise given to man was through Lucifer in the beginning, that man will come together as one, a new age of enlightenment, you will be like gods. I want to go over to this other page that I have here. If I can, uh, I couldn't help but one. See if I can get this up. All right, there's another page here. Now, I'm not an advocate of the CBN um, website or broadcast or whatever. There's been a lot of things that I've noticed that uh, have been coming out of there that I'm not entirely in agreement with. However, they do break down on their website on CBN.com. They do break down the new age. Uh, angelic false deception and teachings that are coming into the world. Um, 
these angels will come speaking to man, whether it's through mediums or through um, apparitions or through new age teachers, channelers, through crop circles, through however they manifest themselves, which was prophesied. Advocating evolution. Uh, monism, which means oneness. So New Agers believe that we are all one with each other and with the universe, that we are all connected by a common cord of the cosmos. Um, the, the fallen angels uh, masquerading as aliens say they're here to rescue man, that we're all one with the cosmos. It's an age of ascension coming, the age of Aquarius. I mean, this has been promised. It's the same lie that's been going on since the beginning. Pantheism. Uh, they, pre they do not preach in a personal God, these, these Luciferian angels. They believe that we are all one with the universe, that he, they are calling us to a higher consciousness and deification of man. A transformation of consciousness uh, will be experienced. Um, create your own reality. Uh, one of the satanic slogans is do as thou wilt, which you will notice sometimes even in... Um, the pictures of Baphomet, pointing up and pointing down as above, so below, do as you will. Now, that's clearly satanic. Satan said that in Isaiah, that I will, I will, I will, five times. And some of those were as, I will be as the Most High. So his fallen angels are following him and teaching this New Age belief that man will ascend to godhood. If you go into Washington, D.C., everything is Freemasonic, um, including how the grounds are laid out. If you go into the Rotunda... There is a, you know, a picture on the ceiling saying the apotheosis of George Washington, apotheosis, meaning man becoming God. Uh, you'll see this on the ceiling. So this is just another new age doctrine of devils that has been preached since the beginning. Um, unlimited human potential. Uh, new agers are convinced that all the power of the universe is available to every person, um, that Jesus was simply a person in touch with his inner self and his higher consciousness, and that he was simply a good man preaching a higher consciousness to us all, not God himself. They preach spirit contact and channeling. Um, they call themselves the ascended masters. So these fallen angels and these craft present themselves as masters and, and, and uh, coming as angels of light and enlightenment. Doesn't that sound familiar with what Satan has been preaching since the beginning? So I just wanted to show you, you know, you can look up sources. Again, I'm not advocating CBN.com. I'm saying they broke down this article in like nine different points here of what the New Age movement and is and how they are preaching and what these, these Luciferian angels agenda is and what their doctrine is. Evolutionary optimism, too. Monism, which is the oneness of the universe. Pantheism, which means there's no one God. We're all God through a higher consciousness and one with the universe. Transformation of consciousness, meaning ascension or apotheosis of man. Create your own reality. Unlimited human potential, which is deity. Spirit contacts and channeling. Masters from above. Ascended masters is what they call themselves. So you can go through these things and look up the different um, aspects of what these fallen angels are preaching. However, getting back to the late President Reagan speaking on an outside alien force coming into our world. These are not aliens, folks. They're not from other planets and star systems. They are the same Luciferian angels that rebelled against God and were present in the Garden of Eden, giving Adam and Eve the same lies. It's the same lies in a modern era. So hopefully uh, this will help some people understand what they're listening to. It's a shame that these world leaders are deceived. They truly are deceived in believing these things. That's why the scripture tells us uh, Satan has effectively deceived the whole world. And in one of my previous videos, I misspoke. Um, so I want to correct my statement. I said uh, all those whose names uh, are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life will not be deceived. I meant all those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life will not be deceived. If you belong to the Lord, this deception will not take over in your heart. Thank you for listening, and I hope this speaks to someone today.